Hey everyone, Dr. O here. So I'm gonna be very real and very vulnerable with you in this video because I wanna share how intermittent fasting saved my life. The reason I share so much of my story is because you're at the beginning or the middle of this journey, right? And I'm closer to the finish line than you are. You are trusting me with your weight loss success and I take that very, very seriously, right? I used to be a mess and now I'm a messenger because I truly feel like I've been given a second shot at life. I'm gonna be here to see that kid grow up. I'm gonna be here to see his children and I would not have been if I didn't change my life. So now I'm here to help as many people along the way as I can. Let's start in the beginning. I don't have a lot of great pictures because if you're like me and you've been fat your whole life, you don't keep uh, a lot of pictures. So this is me. I struggled with my weight my entire life. I was almost 200 pounds in the fourth grade. I remember I, I took a book from my grandmother's house and, and I was 10 the first time I tried a diet. It was the cabbage soup diet. Uh, any other diet that Oprah was recommending my grandmother would be talking about and then I'd be in, in secret you know, trying them myself to the best that I could. I did have weight loss success after high school for a while. I ate 1,000 calories a day and I did three hours of cardio a day. And I got my weight down to a very weak and miserable 208 pounds, right? So even by starving myself for long periods of time, uh, 1,000 calories a day and doing all that cardio, 208 pounds is the lightest I got and I really, really was miserable. So this is the old me, again, a bad picture. It's a picture of a picture. I keep this one on my wallet because it's the reminder of, of where I was and the fact that I'm never going back. I kept that weight off as long as I could, but it obviously all came back and then some. I, I had an injury. I had a wrist injury that it was which is why i stopped exercising for way longer than i should have for 20 years uh, i drank way too much alcohol right i've given given up alcohol 10 years ago as the best decision i ever made because it it gave me my my family um, so alcohol inactivity caused my weight to balloon but i was still in the mid 300s let's say and then you know fatherhood kind of pushed me over the edge right stress i, I mean i love everything about being a dad to oliver o'neill but like uh, stress sleep deprivation you know working myself to death, all these things brought me to here, 414 pounds, right? So that's the that's the old me. This And this, I had a lot of problems, right? I promise you, I've felt the pain that you're feeling right now, if you weigh as much as I did or anywhere close. I have lived it right alongside you, right? So I was the picture of disease. So I had a slow metabolism. My first resting energy expenditure test showed that my metabolism was 600 calories less than predicted. I had sleep apnea, needed the old CPAP, high cholesterol and triglycerides. I'll share the numbers later. High blood pressure. Uh, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. A low testosterone, also diagnosed with hypogonadism. So I was, uh, I was a teenager the first time I was told my testosterone levels were low. I had multiple autoimmune conditions including psoriasis, which covered 80% of my body at this time. You know, it was on my knuckles and everything. So I always saw me wearing long sleeves, never wore short sleeves back then. Depressed. Um, honestly, I was, I was very depressed. I hated, hated myself, hated my life. Headaches, gastrointestinal problems. You know, I was basically having to use the restroom five, six, seven times a day. Uh, night terrors, terrible sleep. They put me on medication for that, but it didn't really help. Uh, nerve issues, wrist pain, back pain, knee pain. Right. So that was the old me. And I realized I had to do something about it. But I, I share all this to tell you this. There's no way that you would have bet on my story ending as a success. So if you feel the same as this person, just remember, that's where I was. This is the new me. Right, COVID was the last straw. I had all these underlying health problems, this depression, anxiety, all these issues. And then I got COVID and I, could, I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without getting winded. Um, I barely could do anything. And it took me four months to recover. And I realized that I had to change. Right, so using a combination of alternate day fasting, time-restricted eating, and other things, right? I pulled a lot of levers. I changed my diet. I improved my sleep, managed my stress better, not perfect, but better. Started walking. Further down the line, I started lifting weights, doing all those things. I lost uh, 49 pounds in, in 10 weeks, 101.2 pounds in six months, and 165 pounds in a year. So this is the new me. Right, so my metabolism has actually gone up. So most people are shocked to hear that, that while I, while I lost all that weight, most people's metabolisms go down. But this is proven with resting energy expenditure tests. My metabolic rate has gone up 181 calories per day. Sleep apnea, gone. Don't need the CPAP anymore. High cholesterol, gone. It went from uh, 276 down to 170. My triglyceride, high triglycerides, gone. Went from 119 to 59. 
High blood pressure, gone. I, it was 140 over 90 on two medications. Now it's 110 over 70 on half of a dose of one of the medications. And I'm, and I'm low enough now where the doctor really wants me to get off of that as well. Hypothyroidism, gone. My thyroid hormone levels are perfectly normal without treatment anymore. Low testosterone, gone. My testosterone levels were 285. Last time I had them tested, they were it was 717. The doctor was shocked to see the numbers move that much without being on testosterone replacement therapy. Autoimmune conditions, much more manageable. Psoriasis, gone. I still take um, I still take a partial dose of my Humira, but my autoimmune GI issues are, are completely resolved and the psoriasis is completely under control with, uh, with less medication. Depression, gone. I'm a new man. Headaches, uh, usually gone, right? I do, ha- I do have a herniated disc in my neck, so I have some of those, but totally different types of headaches. GI problems, completely gone, very regular. Night terrors gone, nerve issues uh, gone, right? I, I started exercising this, you know, be, because I, I was having nerve issues and I was worried about all this pain. Now I have less pain. Wrist pain is completely manageable, even though uh, it's still it's still injured, but I can lift weights. I can do everything I need to do. Back pain's gone. Knee pain, again, usually gone. Sometimes I have pain, right? I mean, I, I lift weights. I'm very physically active. I jumped on the trampoline with Oliver and, and sprained my big toe and I was in sore for a couple months. So now occasionally I have the, you know, the pain of, of activity, but I was in way more pain when I had the pain of disuse and the pain of just being overweight, right? So medications are, are all gone except for those little bit that I told you. Uh, so I was able to cure my autoimmune conditions and my hormone issues uh, to, to, to as much as possible uh, with diet and lifestyle. And I'm very proud of that fact. So why does my story matter so much? Why do I constantly bring it up? Because I want you to know me and like me and trust me. And I want you to follow my advice, right? Because it will work if you let it. Success leaves clues, right? So I'm leaving the clues. I'm te- I'm pulling you along on my journey because you're on the same journey that I am. I'm just a few steps ahead of you, but I'm leaving these breadcrumbs behind to keep you on the right path. But I promise I won't make you eat the breadcrumbs, especially if you're low carb or if you're in a fasting window. So do you see yourself in my story? If so, I would love for you to reach out to me and let me know. And if so, I want you to believe that you can have the same happy ending that I did. So let's do this together. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.